Hello, my name is Ms. Klein and I'm the band director here at the Rayston School in Exeter Township School District Reading, PA. Today, Mallet players, we are going to be working on our Seven Nation Army Mallet part. So I'm going to share, uh, put the camera down to the bell. Just so you know, I am playing it upside down and my arms are also trying to play upside down. So it should look just like you're looking at your bell set. All right, let's get started. So in our bell set here, we're going to be using the notes F in the middle of your bell set. Then we're going to go up to A flat. Now A flat, there's three bars here, and A flat is in the center. So F to A flat, and then back to F. Then we're going to play the note E flat, and then right next to it might be a new note for you, D flat, and it would be D flat or C sharp. Okay. And then our last note is C. So let's go over those notes. Remember when you hold the mallet, you want to hold near the end, just like a drumstick. Okay. I'm going to be upside down so my arm angle is different, but your wrist should be nice and straight. I hold it up a little bit. Your wrist should be nice and straight when you're playing. All right, I am going to do it slightly different. I'm playing upside down so it looks like yours. All right, so let's try those notes with your left hand on F and your right hand on A flat. F, F, A flat, F. So let's hit the F again. The first note in F is a dotted quarter note, so it's one and a half count. One and a half. So I'm going to move our A flat over to E flat. Try that again. So we have, right now we have the notes F, A flat, F, E flat. The other notes in the song are D flat and C. Let's take a look at what those notes look like in music. All right, F, F, A flat, F, E flat. Let's try that again. One, two, ready, and play. And now we're going to add the D flat. How did we do? One, two, ready, again. One last time, this time we're going to add the C in at the end. One, two, here we go. F and C. And that is the pattern. That is the pattern that we're going to be doing. Now you're going to be playing that pattern three times. One, two, three. Three times. Let's try it. One, two, ready and play. F, third time, the last time it starts out the same, but at the end, we're going to go, let's look at those notes, D flat, D flat, D flat, C. Try those four notes again, and it's a triplet. Play those four notes again one more time. So we put that part together. We start off with the F part. New part. How did we do? All right, we're going to try playing the whole song. And remember, you play the one pattern three times. And then the last two measures, measure seven and eight, are different with that new triplet we just did. Let's see if we can do it. Here we go. One, two, ready and play. Here comes a different part. How 
how did we do? Let's try it one last time. Okay, so we're going to try it one last time. It does have a repeat, so we're going to play everything a total of two times. And I am going to reverse the bell set so that I can play it normally and you can see how I would hold my mallet. So now I'm looking at the bell set just like you would look at it. Okay. All right, here we go. So now it looks upside down to you, but you can see that I'm holding it with straight arm and a nice relaxed wrist. One, two, here we go. Second time. Third time. Comes the different part. Repeat. Last time. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Have fun with the song. Remember those A flats and D flats. Keep practicing and I'll see you on the stage. Till next time, have a great day.